Hi everyone, following my first video looking at legacy extension tubes, here's the second one now. This time we're going to be looking at legacy bellows. If you're looking for bargains, then legacy lenses are certainly the place to go to. This mint Pentax bellows came out at only £11.50 on eBay, and that's typical for this sort of thing. As you'll see from this video, you'll be amazed at how close you can get and the quality that can come through. Using the bellows is pretty simple, so screw in the bellows onto the lens adapter here. And once that's on, we're using a Pentax 55mm Super Takamar here, so that screws onto the front. Once that's in place, it's simply a matter of putting that onto the camera itself, and then we're ready to go. Now there's nothing difficult in the setup, you just adjust the length of the bellows until you get the magnification that you want. And then focusing is done by the distance of the camera to the subject, as well as a little bit of fine tuning using the focus and ring on the lens. And also don't forget, do use a tripod, and also a cable release or the timer on the camera itself. Now I went with maximum extension so you could see how close we can get. So this is the picture. And this was shot with the extension tubes from before. And you can see that we're a lot, lot closer using the bellows now. A huge difference here. Again, with the extension tubes, this was the ball pen shot I took. And now we're going to take a look at the same thing, but this is with the bellows. And you can see much, much more magnification and still very, very clear for a legacy lens. It's also worth noting, if your camera has focus peaking, do use that. I know it's mostly mirrorless, but you can use that on the back of DSLRs as well. And also, if you've got a focus check, that will get you in a little bit closer, because when we are going into this magnification, the focusing can be very critical. So there we are, that's uh, Legacy Bellows, and I hope that helps you with some macro work if you want to get started on that. As I showed before, you know, you can get some amazing pictures such as this honeybee here, and we're not talking hundreds of pounds, we're talking 20, 30 pounds to get going with this, maybe 40 depending on what you're looking at. And I hope you agree that the results are very, very impressive. 